In today's tutorial, I'm going to use Inkscape to show you how to create a flat style, very simple uh, cube sort of design like you see here on my screen. So let's get rid of that and get started. The first thing you'll want to do when you open up Inkscape, this should be your view. We're going to go to File, Document Properties, and then we're going to uncheck this box to get rid of those lines on the page and then close out of that menu. And then we'll go to View, make sure you have Custom selected. And then we'll go to zoom and we're going to zoom in at one to one. And then we'll come over here to this button that says align and distribute. We're going to click that button to open up that menu and make sure you have last selected chosen from this drop down menu. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll go to the edit objects, colors, gradients, and strokes menu and we'll open that up. And then we are ready to get to work. So let's come over here to the create stars and polygons button. Let's click on that. And you want to have these parameters set right here. You want to have the button selected that says regular polygon. You want six corners and rounded and randomized should both be set at zero. So once you have those parameters set, bring the cursor over to the canvas and then hold control and shift on your keyboard and let's click and drag to create our polygon. Now we're going to want to position this thing like this, just like you see here with these two corners going up and down. Okay, so once you have it like that, let's go back to the arrow. Let's bring this thing to the center of the page. Uh, let's turn this into a path so we can edit it. We'll go to Path, Object to Path, and then come over here to the Opacity slider, and let's drop that in half. And then we're going to come up here to where it says Snap to Cusp Nodes. We'll turn that on. Now let's right-click this and go to Duplicate, and let's turn that red. And let's grab this corner down here and just bring it up here and snap it onto that corner. And then we'll right click this again, we'll duplicate that again, we'll turn that green, and we'll grab this corner up here, and let's snap it onto that corner. Now we can go and turn our snap to cusp nodes off, we no longer need that. So the next thing we'll do is we'll click on this black polygon, right click it, go to duplicate, and then hold shift on the keyboard and click on the red polygon, and let's go to path, intersection. And then we'll click on the black polygon again, right click it, go to duplicate, hold shift and click on the green polygon, go to path, intersection, we can click on this black polygon one more time and then delete it. Press delete on the keyboard or you can right click it and go to delete. The next thing we'll do is we'll click on this green object, let's right click that, go to duplicate, let's turn that blue and let's flip that around horizontally and then hold shift and click on this red object and then come down here to where it says align left edges and click on that and it should be aligned just like that. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click and drag over all of these so we have them all selected. We're going to bring the opacity up so it looks like that. Now let's click off of the graphic to deselect everything and let's click on just this blue object right here and let's give this, let's make this a dark shade of gray, maybe 80%. We'll give that 80% and then we'll come and click on this green object and we're going to give this a, a, a little bit of a lighter shade, maybe um, maybe 50%. If you hover your cursor right over the shade, it'll tell you exactly which percentage I'm using. So we'll go to the red one and then we're going to use a lighter shade, maybe um, 20%. Okay, that works. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to right click. We're going to cl click and drag over this whole thing. Not right click, I mean just a regular click. Click and drag over the whole thing. Group it together with this button right here. Group selected objects. Group that together. We're going to right click and go to duplicate. And then come up here to where it says flip selected object vertically. Click that once. And then come over where it says flip selected objects horizontally and click that once. And then hold control and shift on the keyboard and click and drag this in. About, th about that much I'd say. And then we can right click this and go to duplicate and then we can flip this vertically and horizontally again and then hold control and shift and scale this thing down to about uh, about maybe about there and then we can ungroup this by going to this button right here it says ungroup selected objects and that should ungroup that into several pieces and then we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything now let's come down here, let's actually click on this piece right here, this dark gray piece. And then let's come down here to our color picker. 
Let's find our blue shades over here. Let's give this a dark shade of blue and then click on this one and give this a little bit of a lighter shade. Not too much light, maybe that much. And then we'll click this top one and let's give this a, uh, an even lighter shade. Maybe even a different, maybe even a different shade. Yeah, we can go with something like that. And that's pretty much it. That's uh, how you can create a very simple flat style cube using Inkscape. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this very simple tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. And as always, thank you for watching.